Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo, and in this video I am going to cover Photoshop layers using Photoshop Elements. This video should also work for the standard version of Photoshop as well. And what I'm going to do is use Photoshop layers and some other Photoshop tools to take this photo and create this photo. Okay, so I have my Photoshop Elements open. I have the plane and moon photo loaded and the first thing we're going to do is open the uh, layers window if you don't have your layers windows open you can go into windows and show layers here click on that and your layer should pop up over here so you should have a layers um, tab up here or somewhere in Photoshop and this is your first layer is your background layer now if we wanted to add another layer here we can go right down to this uh, button right here if you click on it it'll add a new layer now this is a blank layer and you can tell that it's a blank layer from the checkerboard in the background and what we can do with uh, a layer here is we can basically do anything to this layer um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint onto it, I'm gonna use the paintbrush tool and I will change my color, the foreground will be black so I'm gonna use the black color to paint in here and I'm just going to paint in moon and that just affects this layer right here, layer one. So if I were to take the uh, eyeball tool off, it makes that layer invisible. And if I wanted to see it again, I would just click the eyeball tool on. And the great thing about using layers is that you don't affect the original photo. So the background image here of our plane and our moon does not get affected. Um, and if you were to say write moon on the background, you would literally affect that image and if you wanted to go back to the original the original image you you wouldn't be able to do that so I like to create a layer for everything I do just so that I don't destroy the original image okay so now that's done I'm gonna go ahead and delete this moon layer here and I'm just gonna hit the delete the little trash can button down here and just click on it and it'll delete that layer and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna remove this moon out of the picture so we're gonna duplicate this layer so we don't destroy the original image we're gonna duplicate it and we duplicate this image by going into layers and click on duplicate and you'll have a window that comes up that's okay just click OK and it'll duplicate the layer so this is the exact layer that we're gonna get right here so next we're gonna remove the moon from this this layer or this photo and we're gonna do that there's plenty of ways to do this but uh, the best way for this particular image I think is to just uh, paint over it using the same blue color as the sky so we do that by first by going into the eyedropper tool what the eyedropper tool does is it samples a, a color from uh, your photo so we want to sample let's say right around the moon because we're gonna use that color to paint over the moon to erase it and you should have the same color that the eyedrop just sampled over here and it'll sample any any color around the image if you wanted to sample this color around here underneath the airplane you can do that by just clicking on it or the area right here the white part of the plane you can do that too but we want the area around the moon so that we can paint over it and make it look like part of the sky and then once we get that color we just go into the paintbrush tool here and just start painting around the moon and that will erase the moon or remove it from our layer and now it just removed it from this layer and it kept it on the background layer and that is why I like creating layers so that um, we keep the original layer intact so let me click that back on so now that we erased our moon we decided that we like the moon in the photo so we want the moon back in the image and we can do that because we can go into we still have the original layer with the moon in it and if you click the eyeball tool off you'll see it and to create the moon all we need is just the moon so let's go ahead and just copy it we'll go ahead and go to the marquee tool here and just make a little selection around the moon and then go into edit copy and edit paste and that will paste in the moon into this layer so if I were to make the background invisible all I have is this moon layer right here that we copied and pasted onto a new layer whenever you copy and paste something into a photo it creates a new layer so we have a new layer here with just the moon now if we were to click the uh, the duplicate layer where we erase the moon this is the image on top and if we want the moon back in this image we can select 
the layer one here that has just the moon in it and move this to the top and then you can see the moon on top of the layer one here so we can just click on let's say we can just click on this layer and it will just hide the moon because it's just the moon right on that layer alright so now that we have our moon back in our image let's let's say we wanted to make it bigger you know it's too small in this photo so we can do that by clicking on this layer and then go into uh, an image into transform and we want free transform click on that and it'll give you a little uh, little points where you can select to kind of make the moon bigger so let's just go ahead and just make this moon obnoxiously big and then once you're done you can click the ch little check here or just hit enter and that makes our moon bigger now what happened here is this is the top layer this layer is on top of the background layer so anything on that layer is going to be in front of the layer below it so we can see the airplane by clicking the eyeball tool off click it on and we'll just see this moon layer and what we're going to want to do now is that we can see a little outline around the moon and we don't want that we kind of want it um, not so obvious so we can do that by going to the eraser tool and we can use multiple different types of eraser I'm gonna use the brush here and we're 600 is fine and we're just going to start erasing around this area just to kinda of make it look a little more natural so I'm just gonna do that and make the image a little nicer and that looks pretty good so we're gonna just leave it at that okay so now that our moon is bigger and we have the moon back in the photo we don't have the airplane because the airplanes being hidden behind this large moon to get the airplane back in it's pretty simple we just click on that layer there with just the airplane in it and just click it and move it to the top of the layer and we'll have our airplane layer now what we can do here so that we can see the moon and the airplane at the same time is we can just erase all this blue from the image so we can do that go to the eraser tool and I would probably start with something very big and just start making erasing the areas that we don't want around the uh, the airplane here so that we keep so that it will sh show the moon and then we can make the brush smaller on our eraser here and just start erasing the moon around here so let's go ahead and zoom in on that and then we can just keep and we can just keep a keep erasing the uh, the blue out of the image until we get into the airplane and this can be very tedious and time consuming so what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back out zoom back out here and then I'm gonna go into this image here where I have pretty much erase you can see here I pretty much erased everything already out of the picture and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into edit and copy and then go back into the photo that we were working on and just go into edit and paste and it will paste that airplane right into our image um, now I can just move the airplane around if I wanted we're just gonna move it right on top of that airplane and then we can see that if we make the uh, that one layer that we were working on invisible and then we can make the uh, the airplane that we just pasted in right into the image you can see the uh, our final result so let me let me go ahead and play around with this airplane a little bit just to make it look a little nicer I'm gonna just move it right around here and then maybe stretch it out or make it a little bigger by moving the little points around maybe place it right around here to make it look a little nicer maybe even actually that looks pretty good so we're just gonna move it just a tab it looks good right there so we're just gonna hit enter and now we have our image so if we were to close that out we have our moon and there's our airplane well that's it for this tutorial I hope you were able to pick something up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll have plenty of more videos like this and don't forget to visit CaptainChemo.com where you can see my latest photos and learn more about what I specialize in which is HDR photography